Hello, I'm Dragos and in this video we're going to take a look uh, to the best mini PCs that uh, can be used as a home server. So uh, basically you may want to have a home server to host various applications. You may want to have a streaming server. You may want to have a, like a Google photo alternative. You may want to have a VPN server and uh, so on. And mini PCs are uh, very good options to, to use for these uh, small tasks that can be hosted on your home network. So mini PCs are ideal for, uh, for beginners because they are again compact and uh, space efficient they are energy efficient on a mini pc or a server you need to keep it on 24 7 and you need to have a power efficient one to not have uh, like a lot of watts that are consumed they are quiet and they are not uh, creating a lot of uh, space some of them are funless so you can you can uh, use them anywhere and uh, they are cost efficient they will not uh, cost a lot of money and uh, they're easy to to man maintain in this next section we're going to take a look of the things that you need to look when you are choosing the mini pcs for your home server and the first uh, thing that you should take into consideration is the cpu basically there are uh, two types of cpu is 86 and rm1 it acc is the old architecture of uh, cpus they can be used with uh, more powerful applications the irm1 is the new architecture and it's power efficient it uses uh, less power than 86 one they are also powerful but uh, depending on the applications that you want to host in there uh, you may not have support for it so when you are choosing the mini pc architecture for the cpu just know what you are trying to host in in there and uh, choose the one that uh, supports your applications that you are trying to to host most of the applications run right now comes also with uh, irm support because lately like apple started to build uh, irm uh, devices also there is qualcomm now that it's uh, creating irm laptops and cpus for for windows so irm right now is not that restrictive and can be used as with most of the applications but it can be cases where IRM uh, it not, is not supported on an application so that's why it's important to check and uh, and see if the applications you're trying to to host in there has IRM support the next thing that it's important to check is the RAM so basically you want a mini PC that has at least 8 gigabytes of RAM right now the RAM is not expensive you can start with 16 gigabytes of RAM from my point of view this is like the smallest thing that you can do because most of the application it's using RAM to, to, to run and you want to have enough RAM for the application to, to run good on a mini PC the other thing that you should take into consideration is the storage options so basically all of these mini PCs comes with SSD support which is very fast some of them it has the M2 slot and the M VNE support which is even faster the other thing when it comes to to storage the fact to to check if they are they are having uh, extra slots for your uh, disk so for instance if you want to create uh, NAS you want to have one that it has uh, multiple uh, slots for storage you should take a look and uh, see exactly what we are trying to, to host in there another important thing when it comes to mini pc is the connectivity so the ethernet ports the wi-fi and the, the usb ports that are out there so um, in case you are trying to create a nas you want to have one that it has gigabyte support and multiple uh, ethernet port most of the ones that we are going to see in this video has the 2.5 gigabyte port so you can uh, have good speeds in in the home network another thing is the power consumption so most of them have a low power usage the irm ones are have the lowest power usage so if you are interested in, in uh, very low power usage you should choose an irm one but uh, yeah most of them are not uh, using more than uh, 50 watts for for uh, for hour when you are in full load and the other thing is the cooling system you have like a funless mode that doesn't create uh, any any sound and some of them are, have also active uh, cooling system because they they need to to have a cool cpu for performing 
the tasks that are uh, intensive. Yeah, these are the, the, op- the things that you should take into consideration. Of course, the price is very important. Basically, you can start with uh, $100 and have a mini PC at home that you can uh, start using it and see how, how you can uh, configure it and start your home lab journey. Now we are going to take a look to five uh, mini PCs that can... Uh, be used as a home server. The first one is the one from GMK Tech. It's a mini PC with an CPU and 100. Basically, this N100 processors are quite new and they are powerful and uh, are not using a lot of uh, power. They have like uh, very good power usage under 10 watts per, per hour. And uh, I have one at home that uh, I am using to self host all of my applications. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's doing the, the job pretty good. And uh, yeah, this uh, GM Tech Mini PC N100, it costs about uh, 240 USD dollars. And it came with 60 gigabytes of RAM. It has one terabyte of N- M2 NVMe SSD, it has Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2, it has a gigabyte Ethernet port with 2.5 gigabytes and it can have multiple dual HDMI display ports, it has multiple USB USB 3.2 ports, so basically this is a very good option if you are trying to enter in the self hosted uh, world and uh, you want something that is compact and it's offering a lot of uh, flexibility and it doesn't consume a lot of power also you can plug these mini pieces to a uh, monitor and can use them as a desktop if you want and the uh, next one that uh, i'm recommending in is the asus nuke pro 14 ultra 5a mini this one it's more expensive and it is for more advanced uh, users it costs about 900 usd dollars but it comes with a powerful powerful cpu that it has 40 cores and 80 threads and uh, it has 32 GB of DDR5 RAM with uh, 512 GB NVMe SSD. It comes with a Thunderbolt 4 port. It has Wi-Fi 6E and it has Bluetooth 5.4.3. It has GB Ethernet with 2.5 GB and multiple USB ports. This is a more powerful uh, options for the one that are more advanced. Maybe they want to use Proxmox in there to create some virtualization and uh, multiple uh, VMs on it so yeah you should take a look on this one if you are like uh, not a beginner the next one that i'm recommending is the gcom a7 mini pc this one comes with an amd ryzen 9 7140 hashes processor it has uh, eight cores and 60 threads and it comes with uh, about 700 usd it has the support for 64 gigabyte of ddr5 ram it has multiple m2 ssd slots thunderbolt 4 it has wi-fi 6C, Bluetooth 5.2, Gigabit Ethernet with 2.5 interface. It has the RDNA 3 integrated graphics. So this one, it also offers a more advanced uh, GPU and it comes with a lower price than the one from, from Intel. Again, this, uh, two, these two mini PCs are for the ones that want something more powerful that they can use to host more advanced applications. The next one is from the ARM and it's the Orange P5 Plus. This one, it's a, a very powerful ARM device. It comes with 30 gigabytes of uh, RAM and uh, 266 gigabytes of EMC. And it has like an octa-core processor and uh, yeah it's offering a very good uh, performance with only 280 usd for an irm device and it has dual gigabyte ports with 2.5 and it has wi-fi 6 and bluetooth basically what i will present you in here it's a package that help you configure all of these things and have a powerful home server hosted on an RM device. And the last one that it's recommended is the Raspberry Pi 5. Again, this is like a very known uh, mini PC in the self-hosted world. It started with uh, Raspberry Pi 1 years ago. I had uh, Raspberry Pi 2 in the beginning and this one it's recommended for the start uh, users that want something that it's uh, easy to to use and it has a lot of tutorials it runs on IRM and it can be configured with uh, with everything and uh, yeah it, it has a lot of support online and you can find a lot of tutorials to self host anything in in there so yeah, these are the five recommended mini PCs. Of course, there are a lot of mini PCs out there that can be 
can be used also apple has the m2 mini that uh, will be refreshed uh, next month and you can wait for that but again that's a powerful device and costs about a uh, hundred usd dollars and you can also take a look uh, on 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 that if you want to to have something from apple to use it as a desktop and uh, the other thing that uh, it will come in the near future are the amd new processors that come with Zen 5 that are very powerful and have like a GPU that is integrated which is very powerful right now they are not released I will include them in the article that I've created so you can uh, take a look uh, when they will uh, start to, to and uh, you can use these mini PCs to host a media streaming server like Plex on Jellyfin I'm using the N100 one that I have uh, exactly for it for this you can use it as a network data storage you can use it for a home lab automation, you can self-host uh, your web uh, application, you can have a VPN server, you can use it for development and so on. So basically you can use these mini PCs for a lot of uh, tasks and there are a lot of applications that can be can be self-hosted on these mini PCs easily. And uh, yeah, these are the recommendations that uh, I am uh, I am providing in this video. And uh, I'll let a link to the description with the article that has even more recommendation in there. So you can check in detail what every every mini PC has to, to offer. In the video description, you'll find some of the tutorials that will help you self-host some of the applications uh, easily with the help of Docker and with the help of Cloudflare tunnels to have external access in case you are thinking of a mini PC that can be used you can drop a comment into the video description so other to to know your uh, option again these are small mini PCs they are small they are not big ones and they can help you get started with your home lab uh, journey and they are perfect for the ones that wants to to start with this and have some of the some of the applications self-hosted on their own network thanks for watching and uh, in case you like what you have seen please don't forget to like and subscribe